help people better navigate the healthcare system, simplify the system so they can make better decisions for themselves and their families. And at the base of it, it's a team of registered nurses, social workers, and insurance and billing folks who help you through the crisis, and then a whole set of supportive online tools that might help you avoid the crises going forward. So on the online tools, we employ a PHR of sorts, but not like a vault. We take the information that the care planner enters for you, marry it up with content and otherwise on the internet, so that if dad's going for a colonoscopy, he knows the 10 questions to ask. Not at the high level, but on a very specific level. And the technology engine is built sort of to be Pandora-like in that effort. But in terms of, uh, from a value and cultural standpoint, you know, understanding why the organization exists, incredibly important. We have gone through the process of building a strong value statement. And I just, uh, it, it, does anybody here within their own organization, it's not even a show of hands, do you understand why your company exists? If you don't, then you really should go back and study it and then make everything supporting that. And then, you know, really, the end of the day, it's why. Like, this is who we're supporting. I mean, there are millions of people out there, millions of them. And I had said earlier I was going to give a few examples. So I get a call on a Monday at 9 o'clock. Woman on the phone, social worker from the hospital just called her. Her mom's just had surgery. We're releasing your mom at 1 o'clock. We want to release her to any one of 21 facilities. I'm faxing you a list. Call me back in an hour and tell me which one she's going to. I mean, everything from that to my insurance company overbilled me by $40,000. I have no idea what to do with it. And I'll tell you exactly what we did with that first case, by the way. You know, just the fact that I have nurses and folks inside who understand what JCO means, we were able to reduce that list of 21 down to three. It's not our job to make the decision, but we certainly can mentor that client on how to make that decision. We have another one where mom is going in for surgery. Mom's in Philadelphia. Daughter number one's in Washington. Daughter number two's in Chicago. Nobody's got a clue what's going on. Getting somebody in the middle of that to help you organize that process as mom's getting older, fundamentally sound and needed. And I have not walked into a room yet that 80% of the people haven't understood it after I've given the elevator pitch, and at least 30% of the people right there haven't needed it. And you want to know what? It's necessary now. It will be necessary later. People were confused before the ACA. They are confused now and our parents are getting older. So Dorothy needs this. We all need it. I mean, it's a foreign land to all of us. And the language is different, and the terrain is very, very difficult. And so I said this story ultimately has a happy ending, and that's mine. So those are my kids. I tried to keep it under the wire. It went very, very quickly. So if there are any questions, happy to answer them. Otherwise, thank you for listening for a little bit.